Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. You know, the one thing that I appreciated, well, a couple of things I appreciated. First of all, the dream sequence with Trina was just hilarious. Especially the part where, you know, um, Cyrus is holding Trina and Trina's not there yelling for Spencer to help out. And Spencer's like, hmm, no, nah, you know, he's right. He, he, he didn't really help me out in Penville. Like, yep, yeah, y'all just play along now. Um, is when after Trina woke up and was telling Jocelyn about the dream and telling her that she saw Cyrus, and Jocelyn was like, do you want me to sit there and call Sonny? You know, he's equipped to sit there and handle this. He'll sit there and protect you. And Trina was like, when? A couple weeks ago, you wanted nothing to do with this guy. What changed? Let me tell you, let me tell you what changes. Okay? This is the thing about Sonny. And how a lot of people in the town tends to act. Sonny's the bad guy until they need him, right? Not that long ago, you listen to telling Carly, oh, you should sit there and take the evidence and throw him in jail or whatever. He's a bad person, this, that, and the third. Blah, 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 blah. You had no problems in there, you know, asking him for a favor to protect your friend. I mean, if, if that's not the definition of being a hypocrite, I have no idea what it is. She tried to explain it in her BS rational way, but it just comes down to her being a hypocrite. Point blank, period. Adam comes up, because, um, you know, she was really loud when she woke up, so he came over to sit there and see what was going on, and eventually he wound up um, meeting up again, Jocelyn and, and Adam, sit there and study for a little bit, but she was like, I gotta make this quick, because you know, I'm gonna be going to a party tonight. And Adam was talking about how he was gonna go to a library and just kind of just study and stuff. He doesn't really do the whole dressing up thing. Jocelyn feeling bad was like, you know, why don't you sit there and come to Kelly to sit there and help decorate your career out some people and have to be by yourself. And the problem, the problem with people like Adam, Give them the inch. It would take a mile. Okay? It's very clear to everyone except for Jocelyn that he has some sort of attraction um, towards her. Right? And even though, well, to the rest of us, it's really, she's really just asking, hey, you know, you want to sit there and come out this way you don't have to be alone, kind of feeling sorry for him. He's probably going to sit there and take that as an invitation. Like, all right, cool. I mean, you know... It's the first step and just see what happens, even though when she opened the door, you know, Dex is right there, but I know there's a rumor that they're saying that Adam is going to be her stalker. I don't see it personally. I really don't. I see the guy more as a loner than anything else. And granted, I know being a loner because it then turn you into a stalker if, you know, Whatever, but I don't know. I just I feel like it's kind of a far leap. Um, Anna it moves into Anna moves into Maxie's old place because you know you still have to set, and then she decides to tell Sunny that she doesn't need the bodyguard and she wants to move on with her life and this that and the third and I'm. I'm kind of just like, wait, what? Even Sonny was like, you know, you shouldn't just let down your guard just because everything is fine now. You never know when they're going to sit there and strike again. Now, again, I've said this before and I'll say this again. The old Anna would have literally sat there and tried to hunt down the people or the person that was responsible for burning down a place and stalking her and everything like that. This one is just like, ah. Oh, I'm just going to sit there and try to live out the rest of my life. It's all good. You can sit there and take the bodyguard back. I'm like, I miss the good old days. <laughs> I really do. I missed, I missed the year, the, um, the old 2000 days, um, the Bob Goza days, whatever you want to sit there and call them. I miss those days. You know, Cyrus and they're telling Spencer that you know, he should get a second chance because Spencer got a second chance when he came out of jail. 
it's like, bro, as much as I don't like Spencer, I don't even remember what he did, but I'm pretty sure it was nowhere near as bad as what you went to jail for, right? So it's, it's one of those things you was like, well, you know, they gave, they gave you a second chance, that you should give me a second chance. So it's like, um, your crimes aren't nowhere near the same. Like, they're nowhere near the same. Laura's not there asking Sonny to look out for Spencer and just kind of help him out and stuff, which is like, I th he would have did that anyway, regardless. Um, I didn't even really get the, the point of those two meeting up. Ben and Liz didn't really do anything. They, they, they really didn't. Um, I mean, they didn't really do anything yesterday either. She painted. So I guess that was nice for people to see because I don't think most people that just watch the show now realize that that was she, you know, that was her thing that she was really into. And granted, like she said, life got in the way, kids got in the way, and everything like that. But painting was pretty much like kind of her first real thing that she loved doing before she was a nurse. Maybe she was a nurse the whole time. I don't even remember. It's been so long. I don't even remember. I just remember that painting was her first love. Um, other than that, they didn't really do too much of anything today like they did yesterday. So it's... Um, <sighs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. You know, the problem with those two is people always sit there and say they don't have chemistry or whatever. I don't know about chemistry, so I'm not going to really add on to that. But their scenes is just so goddamn boring. It's like they don't do anything. And it's it's like they don't do it. They don't talk about anything interesting. There's no real drama. It's just like, I just, I can't with those two. I really can't. Um, Charlotte's upset with Valentine because she wants to go trick or treat by herself. You know, she's 15. She was like, hey, you know, listen, I'm going to be my friends. We're going to be in the same neighborhood. But, you know, Valentine's real reasons because, you know, he doesn't want um, Charlotte going off doing something stupid with Anna. So he's like, no, you know, it's kind of dangerous or whatever. I just don't want you to go. But he's like, you know what? Listen, I'll make you a deal. So go by yourself with your friends if you talk to Kevin. Go to Kevin Collins. And at first she was like, I don't like I don't have anything to talk about. Like I'm, I'm good. But she's like, you know what? Fine. Um now she does go and leave to go and do something, but she does overhear um Valentine talking to Laura about like you know, talking you know, talking about Charlotte as far as like, you know, she's in trouble or whatever, something going on with her. So we got that whole thing going on. Carly was there. She didn't really do much of anything. This episode felt like yesterday's episode. Like, not that much really happened. Um, Max was only really there to sit there and give Anna her, Anna her old place along with Felicia. Felicia has just become such a redundant character. It's, it's, it's actually kind of a shame. Because I know a lot of people really like Felicia. And I understand that a lot of people can't be front and burn front and burner stories, but it's like, Jesus Christ, like, she was a major character back in the 80s or whatever, it's like, and this is what she's reduced to now, just being there to be there, I mean, same thing with Maxie, Maxie was actually had some really good stories, and just to reduce to whatever this is, um, Now, Laura does find out that Cyrus stopped by unannounced. Oh, yeah. Also, Esme was there for a little bit. She didn't really do too much of anything. Um, she did got kind of freaked out when Cyrus came in because once she realized who Cyrus was, she was just like, she was in full-blown protective mode until Spencer came in there and kind of was just like, you know, Esme, you need to get to work or whatever just because he saw the fear in her eyes. Um but Laura, you know, Laura found out that the dude just dropped on and else, and she was pissed. And, you know, Cyrus was like, oh, you know, I just want to be by my family, and, you know, we're family, we bond together, and a whole bunch of other Bible-thumping quotes, quotes that he always says. And Laura's like, you know what, listen, fine. We'll give this a shot. But you can't just be snitted dropping by and else. Let's, let's just be real. No one likes people just popping in. No one. No, no, no one likes that. Um, so she's like, yo, listen, just give me a call. Come over when I sit there and say, come over and we'll, we'll hash it out or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
I don't feel like that's going to last too long. Because um, we all know that Cyrus is going to doing some shady stuff. So it's not like, you know, his whole redemption arc telling people as redemption. It's like, we know it's the audience side of Um And I, I do, you know, I've, I've read some comments or whatever, and people are listening to this saying, like, you know, listen, you hang out with Sonny all the time, and Sonny does dirt. Um... But I guess compared to Cyrus, which is a lot worse, also, you know, he sells, we'll sit there and say hugs in the neighborhood. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sonny also, like, deals with weapons and stuff like that, so. Just saying, it's like, it's not really, <laughs> it's like, it's like, um, Sonny's not that much better than Cyrus. If, if you really stop to think about it, he's not really that much better. Just throwing it out there. Also, I did forget to um, mention now that Son Sonny also knows that um, Nicholas is alive. Because, you know, he was, you know, if you remember, he was talking to Ava a while back when Ava was like, yeah, you know, I killed Nicholas. It was by accident and stuff like that. Um, which is weird. You would sit there and think that Ava would have told Sonny, oh, yeah, by the way, Nicholas is alive. But he found out through Laura. Instead of through her. Hmm. I'm gonna think about it. There's something that's missing. Whatever happened to Dahlia? What happened to, whatever happened to Ava's mother? Last time last time they was they talking about it, um Dahlia was with with um I don't know, Cyrus gang or whatever. But they never really talked about it afterwards. So did he just like set it at like off screen or something? Does anyone know? I, I, I just thought about that. Like it just clicked in my head just now. It's like, hey, what have happened to Dahlia? <laughs> anyway, um, I feel like that's pretty much about it. This episode was middle of the road, just like yesterday for her, for the most part. It was it was like an it was like a couple of inches better, if we'll sit there and be honest. But um I don't know. Maybe it'll get exciting throughout the week. Hopefully. Please, please, please let it be good. Um, and with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.